You've just defeated the Ender Dragon and now you don't know what to do with your Minecraft world. Well, thank God I'm here because I'm here to tell you. Yes, you need to get those Elytras because Jesus, it makes travelling easy. You can just fly around wherever you want constantly and definitely not die for stupid deaths 90% of the time. But apart from that, it is probably ow one of the most helpful things in the game to get next to like diamonds etc because you can just fly around all the time why wouldn't you want to fly around like you're in creative in survival and not have to cheat A lot of people don't understand that redstone is actually a very important part of Minecraft if you want amazing bases or big farms, etc. Redstone is a big part of the game and you can do a lot of stuff with redstone so you might as well teach yourself while you've got the chance. I made this earlier. This was a, a quick little redstone contraption. Step on here, step in and then you're in your base. No one would even know. Nice and cosy. A good thing to get yourself pretty invincible, and you're definitely going to need this for the next step, is to go to the nether and get ancient debris. So this is the norm, normal portal that you'd probably have by now. I've made a slightly uh, little bit bigger one that we'll go through because it's just easier for you to see. So in my opinion, the best way to get ancient debris is put a bed down. Obviously if you're in survival, stand back, sleep in the bed, and then you clear out this whole area. They are blast resistant. You aren't going to find one every single time. You'll find them a lot of the time. I'll do one more bed. And if it don't work, you have to believe me. It, it, it does work. It does work. Right, I'm trying one more for the people. One more for the people. See, I told you it works. So there's some ancient debris. You mine that, you smelt that up. And you put three or four of them. Four of them. Four of them together with four pieces of gold. To do the wither, you get three wither skeleton skulls, which you will get by just killing wither skeletons. And then four bits of soul sand, and you put that on there. And then look how beautiful he looks. And he just runs away. Why is he running away? Don't run away. He's, he's, he's having a, he's a, I don't know what's going on. And that's why you need armor. But here we have the beacon. So this is a big project, this. If you want to get it to this point, you have to get a lot, a, a lot of iron. And obviously to get this, like you just saw a second ago, you need to kill the wither and it will drop the never star. So to craft this thing, it is five glass blocks, one never star, and then on the bottom, three obsidian and you will get the beacon. You can put certain gems, you call it gems, gemstones, ores, gold, iron, nether, into here. You select what you want, say you want strength, you'd put it in there, you press tick, and then you're done and you've got it, as long as you're near the beacon. So you've got to the point now where you've done all of that, you've perfected a lot of stuff and it's time to perfect the one thing that you live in, your house. Now as you can see, this is a not a very good house at the moment, but from just adding a couple slabs, you can turn it into something like this. Isn't it beautiful? Wing, they can see the village. No, they can't. It's fine. They're going to think that I've built a house and it's going to be amazing. No. They can't really see the village. You, oh, for God's sake. Sorry about that, that was my manager. I don't know what he was talking about, but see, there's no village anywhere. I don't know what he's talking about. This has all been built by me. All jokes aside though, build a nice house. You need to live in it. You need to build stuff around it and you can expand it and turn it into other stuff. You can have a basement, you can have whatever you want. And that will add time onto your gameplay. This last one doesn't even need an intro. Because it's just Minecraft. Just enjoy the game. It's a game about using your imagination and that without any limits. So if you feel yourself getting bored, do something else. If you feel yourself wanting more, build some stuff. 
to do anything. This is a game that is literally limited by your imagination, so you should never get bored of it. And if you do, take some time away from it. And if you feel like you've completed it as far as you've got, start another world. The possibilities are endless. Anyway, that is all from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. There will be another part of the Survival Let's Play tomorrow. When you see this video, it will be tomorrow. So, thank you so much for watching. I have been Wingy. And... Blair.